let's talk stretch marks because i did get a few stretch marks in this pregnancy look do you see but nothing on the bottom though i wonder why <gasps> maybe because i was using something i'm gonna tell you later and there's a common like almost 90 percent women get stretch marks during pregnancy honestly they don't bother me as much though because they really fade away really well like they become really light within six to twelve months i'm applying hyaluronic acid right now like in two studies people who applied hyaluronic acid noticed great improvement and while they are this red and bluish that's also the best time to treat them i'm curious though i want to see how they are gonna appear if i treat them right this time post-pregnancy so this was tretinoin all you need is a pea-sized amount in a study patients noticed great improvement when they used it for 24 weeks now you'd say hey tretinoin is not recommended during breastfeeding that's a myth maybe i'm gonna make another reel addressing that the only other active that i've shown any other benefits are like uh, vitamin c ascorbic acid this i would uh, use in the morning like with hyaluronic acid vitamin c glycolic acid and then centella asiatica moisturizer or cream and also i was applying this silicone patch this time during pregnancy i was mostly applying it like this down under so maybe that's where they appeared over here could be a lot of dermatologists use these silicone bands or patches for improving scars or you could also use a scar gel if you would like now i'm gonna keep you updated how they improve 